Hey friends and family, it's me, Mixie. So I just finished the video about closed eye scrying and I figured since it kind of tied into it because I was talking about going to sleep and having these visions and experiences that I would talk about wake-induced lucid dreaming also. Now I'm also a beginner at wake-induced lucid dreaming also so I'm kind of looking for other people who can do it or have any information that they would like to share. So let's talk about lucid dreaming. So if you don't know what lucid dreaming is, it's basically when you are dreaming and you realize you are dreaming and you can consciously make decisions in your dreams and have experiences in your dreams. So I started lucid dreaming when I was a kid, except I didn't realize that that was what I was doing when I was a kid. So the lucid part was very short lived and happened in the beginning of the dream. And it's usually if I got woke up from my dream, then I would get upset. Maybe I was having a good dream and I'd want to go back into that dream. So I would just kind of guide myself back into that particular dream and so I could finish the dream out. As I became older, then I started having lucid dreaming experiences. Usually when I'm having a bad dream, it kind of alerts me that I want to wake up and that's when I become conscious. Also having an annoying experience in my dream can trigger me into waking up into a lucid dream or becoming conscious into my lucid dream. So for instance, one time I dreamed about an old friend that I used to have and I was hanging out with her and then she started doing annoying stuff and it kind of alerted me like, why am I hanging out with her? And that's when it kind of hit me. I said, I'm in a dream. And then I kind of experience the dream world however I wanted to and it's easy to fall back asleep and lose your consciousness if you're not actively staying alert and conscious because it was easier for me to fall back to sleep before I really read up and studied on lucid dreaming and that's because I would become bored with the dream because I couldn't do anything in the dream besides hang around in the dreamscape that I was already in. And it took reading up on lucid dreaming to learn how to change my dreamscape into a different dreamscape or go to a different place or do what I want to do in my dream, basically. So once I read up on how to do that with lucid dreaming, I actively participated in the lucid dream and I basically learned how to change the dreamscape and I'll let you guys know how to do that because I really was questioning how to do it and everyone seemed so secretive with it and one person had let me know that basically you just will it to happen and it will happen. So I kind of have to relax in the dream and I kind of just do something and it happens and I can't completely change the dreamscape yet and I cannot travel yet like other people can so I'm rather limited to what I can do so I I'm assuming it takes more practice because just getting as far as I've gotten took some practice so I used when I first started lucid dreaming before I started studying on lucid dreaming I would use my lucid dreams to basically do what I want have fun, eat certain foods, and even, <laughs> I can't even so even I would use the dreams to have sex with other people, other men, other women, and I would even have orgasms in real life in my lucid dream that I would actually have in real life. Um, so after I studied on lucid dreaming and I learned the potential of lucid dreaming then I really wanted to pursue these other goals that I had with the top goal being astral projection when you read up on astral projection some people can do this in a meditative state and they're very advanced and they can do it in a meditative state and some people can do it while they're sleeping and they can kind of crawl out of their body so what alerted me to astral projection is having my own experience with it. And what had happened was one night I was on my phone reading up on stuff and I seen this flyer looking type poster post 
And on the flyer, it was explaining how to have an astral projection. And it's the first time I ever had seen astral projection or heard of astral projection of what it was. And it was basically a little pamphlet about how you can climb out of your body while you're sleeping and travel the astral realm. So that night, for some unknown reason, I was sleeping and I woke up. I could not move. I was frozen. Even though I was wide awake, my body was paralyzed. And in the corner of the room, I seen this dragon head that looks kind of like um, Chinese New Year's when they make those Chinese dragons out of paper and what the head looks like. The head was just in the corner of my room. And my husband was on his computer like he is right now. So if you hear that clicking and stuff in the background, that's him. So he was on his computer and I was looking at this dragon head in the corner of the room and it just stood there. It didn't move. It was just floating in midair, but I was still panicked about it and I was kind of freaking out because I can't move and I can't wake up out of this. So the dragon head disappeared from that corner of the room and it reappeared right next to my head. And this freaked me out so bad because I could not move. And even though it wasn't moving, because if it was moving or doing anything, I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have lost my mind. But since it was right by my head, I started freaking out. And I started to basically climb out of my body. And I sat up out of my body. And I realized that I had pulled out of my body and that freaked me out even more so then I tried to will myself back into my body so I laid back down and was trying to will myself back into my body so at this time I started trying to call for my husband who was right there in the room but he had headphones on <laughs> so I was trying to call for him and I could make these little sounds in my throat like <laughs> Like, that's the only sound I could make because I was completely paralyzed. And somehow, I don't know how because he had headphones on and was listening to music, he heard me. And he took the headphones off, turned and looked at me and acknowledged me. And once he acknowledged me, it broke that connection trance that I was in. And I immediately sat up and was panicked and tried to tell him what had happened. So that was my first experience with astral projection. And then when I learned about astral projection being safe and that you would not lose your connection to your body which is what was basically in my mind when I was trying to get back into my body I did not want to lose my body but astral projection you're tied to your body always you never can lose your body and if you ever want to go back to your body you just think about your body and you will go back to your body so once I learned that I didn't have to have that fear I was more comfortable with the idea of astral projection but I never had that experience again of having an astral projection so reading up on how to do the astral projection there was people saying that you can get there from lucid dreaming and that when you're lucid dreaming you're already in your astral body so therefore all you'd have to do is become alert to that and wake up into the astral realm so I haven't had any that's that was my goal from now on when I was lucid dreaming was to become conscious enough to astral project and that's how I had became more aware of lucid dreaming. So lucid dreaming for me happens more often when I am intentionally trying to do it. It can happen randomly if I'm having a scary dream or something and I alert myself that I'm asleep but if I really want to have lucid dreams I have to intentionally go to bed wanting to have a lucid dream over a few days until I start having lucid dream state again once I get into the lucid dream once I get into a pattern having lucid dreams they usually come easier at one point when I was having lucid dreams frequently and I was having fun in my lucid dreams and working through psychological issues in my lucid dreams I went to sleep. One day I was going to sleep and I was awake, laying down, trying to get myself to sleep. And that's when I slipped from being trying to be asleep into a lucid dream. 
and I never went to sleep. I was completely conscious the entire time from when I laid down, when I was trying to go to sleep, until I was in a lucid dream. And then I participated in my lucid dream. And when I woke up, I fell asleep. When I woke up, I was very curious as to what had happened or what that was or how I could go from being awake to being in a lucid dream without ever going to sleep. So I went online to the forums again on Facebook and I asked people about my experience and how I was awake and how I ended up in a lucid dream without ever falling asleep. And someone had mentioned that I was a natural wilder and I didn't understand what that was and I asked her about it and she basically said it was wake induced lucid dreaming. So I went online and I looked it up and it's actually a thing that some people can do wake induced lucid dreaming where you never actually go to sleep and you transition into a lucid dream while awake, which is another <laughs> crazy thing that ha a lot of things happen to me while I'm sleeping. I have a lot of experiences while I'm sleeping and dreaming. I've also had dream visitations, have dream premonition kind of things happening and I'm not skilled at this at all and this was completely random and something I have no control over. I had a dream that I was a pregnant woman in a car and this man came up to the window and he just started shooting me while I was in the car and I didn't think anything of it. I just thought it was a regular dream until later in life, like a week later, there was this article on my news feed on Facebook and a pregnant woman <laughs> was sitting in her car and got shot, gunned down and died. And I didn't know if it was a coincidence that it happened. I didn't understand it. Um, so I don't understand that at all or how that happens or how that works or how I even had the dream and seen the article later. But lucid dreaming I seem to have a little bit more control over and I just wanted to share this with you guys and if anyone else is a lucid dreamer or a wake induced lucid dreamer and you want to share your experiences with me and maybe we can talk about it and we can learn something from it or maybe you can teach me a few things please comment down below and let me know and I'm gonna let you guys go because I have nothing else to add to this. So I just want to thank you guys for watching my video and I hope you guys have a great day.